What are human rights, really? If this is a question you have been pondering upon for a long time, or perhaps now for the first time, this is the video for you. Using only a few minutes, we will teach you the basics of human rights law. So hang along! Before looking into what human rights are, let us jump back in time to get some context. Although the history of human rights can be traced even further back in time, let us start in 1948. After the end of World War II, which had been brutal and caused a lot of suffering, the international community was determined to prevent future wars and to stop states from committing further violations against their populations. With the horrors of the war fresh in memory, the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, a document consisting of 30 articles setting out rights that every human is entitled to purely by the virtue of being human. The Declaration was groundbreaking, and is often considered to be the founding document of human rights law. For the first time, it was acknowledged that states not only have duties towards each other, but also towards individuals. The Declaration sets out that every human, everywhere, has the same inherent rights, and it led the groundwork for the creation of various other human rights documents. So what are human rights actually? Human rights are rights and freedoms that, as we learned, belong to every individual. They protect us, like this shield here, from power abuses by states. This means that human rights are entitlements of individuals, but also obligations of states. On a general level, human rights can be divided into two categories, civil and political rights, and economic, social and cultural rights. The rights that belong to the first group, civil and political rights, are connected to the possibility of everyone to participate in public life and be free from state abuse and repression. Those rights include, for instance, the prohibition of torture and freedom of speech. Social, economic and cultural rights, on the other hand, are more concerned with fulfilling people's basic needs and ensuring a minimum quality of life. There is, for instance, the right to work and the right to food. However, in reality, all human rights are closely connected and rely on each other, since the fulfillment of any one right depends on the fulfillment of the others. A principle which is very fundamental to human rights is also the principle of equality and non-discrimination. Since human rights belong to everyone universally, discrimination in the fulfillment of such rights is a violation of the rights in question. There are three levels of human rights obligations international, regional, and national. Human rights are set out in international documents, such as the UN Core Human Rights Treaties, and in regional documents, such as the African, American, or the European Regional Human Rights Treaties. Human rights are also enshrined in national laws, such as constitutions and other laws. Which human rights obligations a state has therefore depends on a variety of factors, including which binding documents it has adopted and what its national laws provide. However, all states in the world are also bound by international customary law. That is, very simply put, states' previous behavior. They are also bound by general principles of law, which include certain human rights standards that bind all states. For every human right that an individual has, a state has the corresponding obligation to respect, protect, and fulfill the right. This means that the state cannot violate your rights. The state must also protect your rights from harm caused by others, as well as take active measures to make sure that you can enjoy your rights in practice. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about human rights, make sure to check our website, listen to our podcast on human rights, and stay tuned for more content.